M0FXB, welcome to my channel, ICOM 7000. Let's have a little tune around, just see, listen to what it sounds like. We are on an external speaker, which, which is the ICOM SP7. So this is a VHF, UHF radio, 6 meters, 70 centimeters. It does not have a built-in tuner, so you do need a tuner. But it's quite, you know, quite a modern transceiver for the fact that it came out in 2004. If you think about new radios that are now, like the ICOM 705, 7300, and the Yaesu 710. So this was way ahead of its time. The head, is, the head unit is a removable one. It's a very small, compact radio. It's, there's not much... You know, you could, it's got a handle, you can move this around very easily um, and you can use it as a base station portable, no problem at all. Let's have a little listen to it. He came and sat there and watched his other band and then I didn't know who he was, didn't know anything to do with any of the groups or anything, but um, all I can remember is he had this... Quite simple, you know, functionality, you've got the volume... Squelch RF here behind. Power on off. Turn that and straight away you're looking at the filters. If the light is on, that is. If you turn it off, push it, push this button here. And then you're changing the, we're in VFO mode, changing the, the possible memory channel, look, blank, taken, same for the behind, look, you're changing, I think that's changing the groups, the outer knob, we push it, then we're playing, we're controlling our filters, so M menus here, push the bottom one, M2, M3, if you hold it, you get the S menus, you can see, and if you push this button, you get your settings menus, so quick set here, up and down arrows, only a few items in that, transmit bandwidth, each CRF power, mic gain, you push it again, you've got a display menu, quite a long menu, up and down again with the arrows, lots there, Push the setting menu again. Lots of settings there. Time. It's mainly your time settings. Push quick set again. This one here. Other. And there's a lot in this one as well. Look, 50 menus there. Look. So it's, a, it's full of features, just how we like it. Push it and you're back to normal. If you can see there, we're in set mode now. If we push and hold this one here. You get your three um, meters outcom SWR. Push it again, you've got your SWR graph. Which works just by pushing the PT push play, push F1, push the PTT, and you start to get a graph. Look. We're not gonna we're not transmitting. You can change the steps here, look. F4. Also, you can change the amount. See that? There's only three showing now. And it goes up. Push it again. You get the you get the scope, which is, you know it's receiving on and off because it's letting you through a scope, which is very usable. And then you push hold. And you've got the peaks showing. Look, and then you move to them. That's off band anyway. So, frequency step, push this button here, hold it, look, one, one hertz, you can default it. So let's, let's just do it. Come out of, span, of scope, just push this back to the meters, you've got a temperature gauge there. It shows you which filter you're using at the top. See that, filter one, we'll show that in a sec. So let's just tune through. Yeah, five mile, um, it's looking good. Uh, your 
Seven eight. So obviously, if you're on 40 meters, which is seven megahertz, you use LSB. The mode is up here. Look, CW. If you get to FM, hold it down. You get WFM. Hold it again. AM. Hold. That's the button at the top. If you go to CW, hold it down. You get CW reverse. Okay. RTTY. We want LSB for this band. I have got the preamp on. I do like it on. I like to see a signal meter. But you don't need it on. You can hold it and it will actually attenuate. That's the preamp button. Tuner if you have one or if you hold it. I think in a different mode. It will take you to the core channel. Nice VFO speech announcement. Zero, seven, point one, five, five, eight. Turn that off, and if you go here up and down with the bands, look. So that's eighty meters. We're not tuned into that. You can see the different bands, and we'll look at seventy sevens in a minute. Up. If you hold it, it just turns on the scope. It's pretty good, isn't it? It's like a shortcut. Good. Person testing. Now you've got some filters here. Noise reduction. Notch filter. Which I quite like. Auto notch. Noise blanker. A quick one for power. Push the button quick and then go to number one. You've got the power. Let's set to about 20. What 20% it is. Mic gains on 50 at the moment. We haven't really tested the audio on this yet. Let's go up to um, see if we can get my node in this. There's a node in the, in my home, which is on four three, four three four. Now we could just type it in, type in using our mic, and the microphone does control everything. You know, you can go up and down the bands. You can type in the frequency, VFO memory, activate the tuner, just filters. It pretty much does everything that we're doing is quite nice and it's good audio reports on that so four three four five five zero is my is my node here at home and let's just see I'm surprised there's no activity so let's um see if we can get it remote already in this mode so we could a give a U little call out we'll get to keep the power low connected 
I may have put it into my memory channel. Let's have a look. So we'll go push. Go to M and then we'll go to M2 VFO memory. And we'll turn back. I did put a few in here the other day. No. That's fine. So go back to VFO. 434550. We need to turn on tone, which is on. We need to get the right frequency to press M3. We've got tone here. Leave it. You can see it changing at the top. We're going to hold it. We want it 77. That's fine. But we don't want to shift. So we'll come back. Uh, duplex off. We want. See that? Duplex minus plus off. Let's just try it now. That's it. We're now accessing my node. Now to store that in the memory, keep pushing for M and hold down MW. And it's put it in EO, EO1. Okay, now we could name it as well. We go to memory list. That's where it's put it. And if you want to name it, select name. And it's actually called Hubnet. H. We just put H in for now as we'll be here all day. But to change so that you can use letters, you press, uh, which one is it? There it is there. The, me the up arrow, you can use letters, numbers, lowercase, uppercase. So we'd be good and just put it in, hub, TU, U. Da did it. Let's remember, let's do our TW. Hubnet, da did a dit for B. N, da dit. I have practiced it a bit. N, N, E, dit. T, da. Right, and then when we back out, Hubnet, P Q R S T. It's just there, okay, and it'll appear here. Now let's let's give a call. M zero FXB calling for an audio check. M zero FXB. M zero FXB. There you are. I've got a couple of stations come back. That's how friendly they are there. Another station coming in. Hubnet, look it up on, on Google. M0FXB, just check that uh, the frequency is in use. And thanks to the other two stations for coming back to me for the audio check. Uh, standing by a second. M0 FXB. Yeah, I wasn't sure two stations came back to me just on my ICOM 7000 here. And so uh, uh, I'll chuck it in the air and see who, who takes it. M0 FXB. So we're on 70 SEMS. M0 FXB, M0 TZR. I did come back with a report and it was loud and clear. Andreas, it's Paul. Yeah, hi Paul, good to catch you. Yeah, I wasn't sure how loud I'd be. Um, I'm uh, sort of talking away from the microphone, but yeah, good to catch you up there. Uh, just running about, I don't know, four watts into my All Star node on a ICOM 7000. I don't even remember it. It's like the 706, but with a color screen. Uh, back to you from M0 FXB. It's warm, um, but it's not hot. The fan hasn't even kicked in. Okay, bye for now, 7-3.